everyone, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Geek and Gorgeous Bee Balm 10% Niacinamide Serum which you can use daily in the morning and or evening and it's great for all skin types but it's especially great if you have combination to oily skin since it can help you to regulate your oiliness and therefore minimizes the appearance of enlarged pores and it can help to reduce the appearance of blemishes over time. Now when working with this serum you need to make sure that you're going to adjust the skincare routine accordingly to the time of use and your skin type. And so as an example, if you're planning on using it in your morning skincare routine, then it will look like this. You're going to get started with washing your face with your favorite cleanser. This can be in this case an exfoliating acid cleanser or gentle cleanser. Just make sure that it does not dry out your skin nor irritates the skin in any way. Once you're done with washing your face, you can go ahead and move on to a second step which is optional, which would be a hydrating and soothing toner. So if you have a hydrating and soothing toner at home, it's going to be your second step after cleansing. If you do not have a hydrating and soothing toner at home, it's fine to skip this step and immediately move on to your niacinamide serum. And once you have applied your niacinamide serum, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then then I recommend following with a moisturizer that already contains SPF or with your regular sunscreen to protect the skin during daytime when being exposed to the sun. Not only from premature aging but from sun damaged skin as well. And then when it comes to your evening skincare routine it's going to look very similar. You're going to get started with the first step which is washing your face with a suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs. If you're planning on using an exfoliant in that specific routine I recommend sticking to a gentle cleanser only which can be a daily gentle cleanser or you may need to double cleanse or just use a balm or oil cleanser on its own if you have one stubborn sunscreen and or makeup throughout the day that needs to be removed with a stronger cleanser. Then after that you have washed your face, you can again go ahead and move on to your second step which would be optional, which again can be applying your hydrating and soothing toner and or exfoliant, a toner, solution or even liquid or maybe a serum. Then you're going to move on to your niacinamide serum. If you do not have a toner or exfoliant at home, again it's fine to just skip it and immediately move on to your niacinamide. Then once you have applied it, leave it on the skin. And then after that, you either just are going to leave it as it is, or depending on your skin type and needs, you can follow with a moisturizer afterwards that works well for your needs. And so again, this would be a great evening skincare routine. And in the evening, there's no sunscreen needed. Now, this is what I basically wanted to show you so that you have a proper overview of it. But again, please make sure to adjust it accordingly to your skin type. So just because it has great benefits for or like oily combination skin, this doesn't mean that it cannot work for dry skin. It still has some moisturizing benefits. It can help you to even out your skin tone as well and give you a bit more radiance to it, which can work well for dry skin as well. And so I'm now going to go over certain conflicts, which you have to keep in mind before including it in your skincare routine and this is first of all please do not mix this niacinamide serum with exfoliating acid solutions liquids or serums so please do not use a few drops of your niacinamide serum and your exfoliant and mix it in the palm of your hand you are fine to keep them separate in the sense of layer one after another but please do not actually mix them together and then the other part would be with vitamin C. And I'm talking about ascorbic acid, which is the pure form of vitamin C. So if you have a vitamin C product at home where it does mention on the ingredients list ascorbic acid, then please, again, do not mix your niacinamide serum with ascorbic acid. And my best advice would be keeping them in separate routines. So to make sure that you get benefits out of both ingredients and since it is a very controversial topic if you can or cannot use them together my best advice would be keeping them separate for example using your vitamin c serum during daytime and your niacinamide in the evening or vice versa to make sure that you get the benefits out of them and so those are the conflicts that you have to keep in mind when working with niacinamide and so I'm now going to get started with the application so that you can see it step by step on my face as well when trying this out at home. 
So again, we are going to get started with the first step, which won't change, doesn't matter if you're doing this in the morning uh, and or evening, your first step is always going to be washing your face with a cleanser. But again, if you're planning on using an exfoliant, please only stick to a gentle cleanser. If that's not the case, then you can basically go with any cleanser as long as it's working well for your skin type and needs. I have a few examples right here from Cetaphil, CeraVe, Gigant Gorgeous, or the Ordinary Balm Cleanser. Of course, you need to adjust it accordingly to when you're going to use it and do your skincare routine. And so I'm going to stick to Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker Cleanser, which is great for all skin types. This is just an example. If you have a different one at home that works really well for you, go ahead and stick to it. Just please make sure to read the directions on the back of the packaging to make sure that you can use it properly. Either apply it on dry skin or on wet skin. Those are the directions which usually can change when using a cleanser. And so in this case, I need to apply this cleanser on wet skin. So the first step that I'm going to do is now wetting my face and neck and hands with lukewarm water to warm water and then use the cleanser onto wet skin. So let's go ahead and do this. Then go ahead and use about one to two pounds, so about a coin size amount of your cleanser. About that much, use it between your hands and then evenly massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. So, and once you have massaged your cleanser all over your face and neck, you are fine to again rinse it off with water. Now, in case you should have troubles removing it, especially when doing this above the sink, you can go ahead and use a fresh and soft washcloth which you can wet and this can help you to remove the cleanser a bit better. So and then go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So once you are done with washing your face, you have pat the skin dry, then now you can go ahead and move on to your second optional step, which would be using a toner and or exfoliant in that specific routine. However, if that's not the case for you, then again, it's fine to just skip it and immediately move on to your niacinamide cell. And so when applying niacinamide on its own, since it has a pipette, I recommend sticking to about three to four drops. Of course, this is just a general guide, which you always can adjust depending on where you want to apply it and the size of your face so that you have an overall idea of how much you can use and then based on that adjust it when applying it to the skin. Now when applying niacinamide to your face, neck and maybe decolletage, then just please make sure to not get it into your eyes and please do not get it into your mouth. If that should be the case, rinse it immediately with water. Now you're fine to use it on the eye contour. However, if you know that you have already a sensitive eye area, I recommend being careful with it so that you won't irritate it in any way because we're working with a 10% niacinamide serum. So for some people, this may work really well. For others, you wanna avoid it if you feel like you have sensitive eyes all over. And so when now using your niacinamide serum, you can either go ahead and use a few drops in the palm of your hands on your fingertips or immediately place it onto the face and then blend it all over. Whatever method works the best for you, go ahead and do this. So and then go ahead and blend it evenly all over your face, neck and maybe decolletage. So, and once you have applied it all over your face and neck or maybe decolletage as well, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. 
Now I do want to quickly emphasize that if this is going to be your evening skincare routine and depending on your skin type, you're fine to use the serum on its own. There's no need to use a moisturizer afterwards if that's not the case for you. However, if you have a drier skin type or you may experience dryness from time to time, it's fine to use a moisturizer in your evening skincare routine after the application of your niacinamide serum. And so then go ahead and make sure that you're using a moisturizer that's suitable for your skin type and needs. So either a richer one or like lotion or either a gel and then use about a pea size amount more or less. If you have a drier skin type you probably want to use a bit more so about that much more or less. If you feel the need to use a bit more go ahead and do so and then apply it evenly all over your face and neck on top of your niacinamide cell. And so this would be then an example of an evening skincare routine on how you can adjust it depending on your needs. However, if this is going to be your morning skincare routine, which I now want to keep my focus on, then it's important to use sun protection during daytime. And again, either with a moisturizer that already contains SPF or with your regular sunscreen. And so make sure that you're going to use a moisturizer with SPF or regular sunscreen accordingly to your skin type and needs, so that it feels comfortable on the skin and that it does not irritate your skin in any way because sunscreen should not sting uh, your eyes, it should, should not sting on your skin in any way it should feel comfortable and so I have two great examples right here from Cetaphil which is their moisturizer that already contains SPF or the, or the Nivea sunscreen and so I'm going to stick to Cetaphil's moisturizer with SPF which is for example a great example if you have like combination to oily skin and so if you're going to use either moisturizer with SPF or your regular sunscreen one thing that won't change is the amount of product that you're going to use which is about half a teaspoon for your face and neck and about one teaspoon for your face neck and decolletage and so my best advice would be using a teaspoon next to you if you're being new to it so that you have an overall better understanding of how much this actually would be because you need to use a fair amount to evenly blend it all over to protect the skin if you have like the amount in mind then of course you do not need it anymore and just use it immediately in the palm of your hand Apply your moisturizer with SPF or regular sunscreen 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure. And please do not forget to reapply it throughout the day, especially after outdoor activities where the sunscreen can move around or if you have been in the sun for several hours where the sunscreen can break down or went for a swim where it can wear off. Then the reapplication during daytime is important. And again, you only need it during daytime. In the evening, there's no sunscreen needed. So about that much, more or less. This is just a general guide to give you an idea of how much you need to use. If you feel like with that specific amount that you just have used, you have some leftovers, then by the next time you know that you can reduce it a bit. If you feel like you have not used enough, then by the next time you know that you need to use a bit more. This is just a general guide to have an overview of how much you would need to use. So, and once you have applied your sunscreen all over, then again, there's no need to wash it off. You're going to leave it on the skin. And so the moisturizer with SPF or your regular sunscreen is going to be your last step in your morning skincare routine before being exposed to the sun. Now I do want to quickly emphasize a mixing guide because you are fine to not only use this serum on its own but you can use this serum as a booster in other serums as well or maybe in your moisturizer so that you can customize your mixture. But again when mixing it please do not forget about the conflicts. And so I have a few examples right here what would be a great mixture. So I have niacinamide serum right here from Geek and Gorgeous and let's say you want to mix it with another serum. This can be for example a hyaluronic acid serum either from geek and gorgeous the ordinary or from any other brand which you may have at home this is just an example so that you have a general guide in mind 
And so what you can do is you just can take one or two drops of your Gigant Gorgeous Niacinamide Serum in the palm of your hand and then mix it with an other favorite serum of yours. Just make sure again that it's not an exfoliant or vitamin C. And then just add one or two drops of the other serum as well in the palm of your hand and then you can mix it in the palm of your hand and apply it all over your face and neck so that you have like a customized mixture of your favorite serums together and then just go ahead use it between your hands and evenly apply it all over so this would be one great example on how you can mix geek and gorgeous niacinamide serum with another serum however you can go ahead and do this as well with your moisturizer so let's say you have a moisturizer that does not include niacinamide or just a little bit and you want to give it a boost of your niacinamide serum so that it may feel better on the skin for your skin type also that you can save a step and you basically can apply everything all at once then that's fine too so let's say you have your favorite moisturizer at home again this can be from any brand this is just an example use about a pea size amount of your moisturizer more or less which again depends on your skin type and how much you actually would need to use so about that much and then again go ahead and add from your niacinamide serum about one to two drops, maybe three drops, which of course depends on your preference. I just wouldn't use too much of it so that you're not going to waste too much product. And then mix it in the palm of your hand with your moisturizer so that you have a customized moisturizer that includes your favorite ingredients within so that you then can go ahead and use it between your hands and then evenly apply it all over your face and neck. So this is another great way on how you can use Geek and Gorgeous Niacinamide Serum by mixing it with your favorite serum and or moisturizer so that you can give it a boost. And then this is basically how you can simplify everything and customize it to your needs. And so this is what I wanted to share with you on how you can properly use Geek and Gorgeous Bee Bomb Niacinamide Serum. I do hope that you find it helpful. If you want to have a look and a closer look at the example routines that I have shared earlier with you, I'm going to list them in the description box down below where you can download them and then use it as a guide. Now I do hope that you find this video helpful, that you enjoyed it. If you did so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.